an honor to hear her speak. And Love you. Right. I think there's gonna be, oh my God, it is so hot. I was either gonna wear a sweater or a jacket over this. Guys, it's 84 degrees right now. What the fuck? Okay. Anywho, it is Friday, Friday, getting down on Friday. I'm doing something a little bit different today. Something I normally don't do. And that is, I'm going to meet someone for a little coffee date, a little friend coffee date. And I've never, done, I've, I've pretty much only done this like one other time. I you know I damn with her all the time. And she's also an influencer. So I was, I was like, hey, we should like go grab coffee. And she was like, yeah. Absolutely. And I said, I am really, really, really bad at making plans. It's one of the worst parts about me. Um, I don't even ask my very best friends to hang out. Like I've literally never asked Michelle to hang out. Maybe one time I've asked Michelle to hang out and it's just, it's a bad flaw of mine. Like I don't, I don't, I don't like it. But so I, so I told her that I was like, I said, I'm really bad at making the plans, but if you make the plans, I will 100% be there and I will work around your schedule. And she was like, cool, should we go Friday? And I was like, yeah. And then I had to push it back 30 minutes because I had a delivery that was being, that might have been delivered. And then John had to treat a patient and he wasn't gonna be home until after the time. So I'm on my way now. And I always feel like a pick me when I'm like, oh, I don't like my hair, I don't like my hair. And it's not that my hair doesn't look good because I'm not gonna lie, my hair tends to look good a lot of the time, but it's just the way that like I, in my head, it didn't come out how I wanted it to come out. You know, that's the issue. It's not that it doesn't look good. I just don't like it. I told John that I was gonna do this coffee date and he was like, oh, amazing. Like, I love that for you. He said, where are you guys gonna go? And I said, oh, we're going to Boy in the Bear. <laughs> and he was like, are you for real? And I said, she was the one that pitched it, not me. And he was just like, you like what you like. But we we're going to the one in Culver instead of the one that we usually go to in Westchester. So just for a different vibe, you know. Also, I just finished the Matrix vlog. If you guys want to watch that, it's down below. And I also have a current makeup routine that I'll link down below as well. I feel like you guys have been asking me for that and I finally did it. So also the lighting is really trash right now. So I'm going to go, but I'll check in with you guys soon. Just got back from my girl date and I have a ton of packages that I ordered arrived. So actually this is not one of them. So I thought that I would show you guys. It's mostly from Lulu's and Saks and I had a really fun content idea for astrological signs. And I ordered most of the stuff from Lulu's just because I feel like they have like really good pricing and they have like a ton of different options. Um, so look at how cute this purse is. It's like feathery, very cute. Um, I haven't opened any of this stuff yet. So obviously we're gonna open it together. I don't know if I should like open it and then show you guys so I can cut out like the rumbling. Um, so anyways, I hope that these fit. They look a little bit big. I'm usually a six and a half, seven in Steve Madden, but they only had a seven. And I think I'm gonna be wearing uh, socks with these anyway. Okay, okay, they're a little big, but I think they're super cute. This is them. They have the silver detailing. Okay, cute, cutesy, cutesy. Anyway, so I just got back from my girl date and it was so good. She was super sweet. By the way, her name is Kelsey. I'll put her handle 
in the description or like on the screen because she's super cute. Go follow her. Wow, this is adorable. <gasps> okay, cute. We're going to Cabo next month. So I'm probably gonna bring this. I feel like that just screams Cabo. This would be really nice. I know you're not supposed to wear red to a wedding. Some people say you shouldn't. I think it's kind of an old rule, but this would be pretty for a winter or spring wedding. Cute. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to do a reel with all of this stuff and actually try it on so that you guys can see it. <sighs> oh my gosh. Basically just like a floating head right now. I wanna do all the Lulu stuff and then I'll do the sack stuff. But yeah, we just talked and we kikied for like two hours. Unfortunately, she got a, t a parking ticket. I felt so bad. Um, yeah, it was, it was unfortunate. But yeah, we just talked and she actually lives close by, which is nice. And we talked about like going to a pottery class and just like, you know, being friends. I like making new friends. It's just hard for me because I don't, ask people to hang out. Look at this cheetah print is in and I thought this would be really cute. That's just a pop of cheetah print. And I like that it's beaded. Hi baby. Mm. Okay. This also, Lulu's is very cute with how they wrap their stuff because at the price point, you wouldn't think that it would be like so beautifully wrapped, you know? I got this set because it was giving very much Meredith Blake vibes and I feel like it is so cute. Ooh, and then again for Cabo, you probably can't even see, but it's like a little rosette. It's a one piece bathing suit. It's kind of giving same Los Angeles, like that. That's home soup brand with how they've been doing rosettes. Ooh, this is so cute. Okay, I was really excited for this because I don't have that many pink things. I went to a pink, ooh, these might be a little bit too small. I went to a pink party the other day and I didn't have anything pink, but this came as a set and it also comes in red, black, and white. Cute. And then I got a pair of shoes to go with it because I wanted it to be monochrome. not get it out and we were waiting for some she has nails too and we were waiting for someone to pass by someone passed by and we asked him to help and he literally said no and then, and then this car was driving by and they're like do you need help and I didn't really understand what they said because they were driving by and I was like no and then obviously I said no but I meant I meant to say yes I don't know what was going on in my brain and so then I like oh I think I still have it and then I gra I knew I had this little clip for my hair in my car and so I was trying to grab it with this little clip. And after like five minutes, I was finally able to do it and grab it. Okay, this is another cute set that I grabbed. It's this deep maroon color and it's satin. And then it also had the pants. This also came in white as well. If you're a bride in your bridal era, that can be really good. Oh. I thought this was gonna be more gold. Yeah, but it's giving very much rose gold vibes. Let me turn the light on because it got a little bit dark in here. Hopefully that helps. Yeah, a little bit more rose gold vibes than I was going for, but we'll have to see how it looks. I thought this could be really cute. I got some of this stuff so I could try it on for you guys in your bridal era as well. 
And I thought this was really cool. It's a blazer romper and it has embroidery on it and it's this cream color. I thought that was really pretty cute. Okay, I'm really excited about this. I'm really in my cardigan era, but I don't, I only have cardigans that start the buttons here and go down. I don't have any high neck ones, which I've been seeing all over Pinterest where the button is buttoned up here and then the rest of it is open. You just wear, you know, like a white t-shirt underneath. So I grabbed this one, kind of like Sophia Richie era, you know? Also just saw that she's pregnant, which is so great. <gasps> Again, this is another one for my bridal girls. I cannot wait to show you this one. I cannot wait. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. This is like insane. Look at how beautiful this is. I don't wanna move this. So you guys can see it better. You're joking. Look at the beautiful like train. Look at the beautiful train. Insane. Insane. Also very excited for these because I wear my silver pointed toe heels all the time on Instagram and you guys always ask me where they're from, but I got them when I was in Nice uh, two summers ago. So I can't link them. I got them at Zara actually, but I wanted to get another pair that I would be able to link for you guys. Also, these came in red when I was looking on the site too. I think you're going away. I'm going to sing. Song has been stuck in my head. <gasps> Another, okay. Maybe I'll do a little try on of the bridal stuff that I got because I want to show you guys, but this is another one. These white kind of tapered. <gasps> oh my God, I just got my, <sighs> just got my fucking lipstick on my pants. Cool. They're tapered trousers and then it goes with this top, which is this structured top. And then look at the back, this little vest with the buttons in the front and then this bow in the back. So freaking pretty. And then I believe I got a pair of shoes to go with that. Hold on. I think you're going away. I wanna make you stay. It's a great song to sing to. Too. These are not the shoes that I got with it, but these would go really well. They have a little tie. Okay. And then, ooh, okay. Is this a... And then the last thing I got is this dress. This also came in navy, if you're a navy girl. I just thought that this was so cute. Kind of reminds me of the dress that Morgs or Morgan wore for the Australian Open, if you guys follow her. And this is, that is what inspired this dress. Oh wait, we have one more pair of shoes. I know that I don't, I did not need another pair of kitten heels but I couldn't pass it up. This one's a little bit maybe too kitteny for me. I'm gonna try it on. Usually I go for at least like two inches. I feel like <laughs> that is pretty kitteny, but it was really cute. Also, these came in white on the site. And if it was summer, I probably would have gotten the white one, but I needed the black. And then I'm gonna choose between these flats and these red flats and these red flats because I definitely don't need both. So we will see which ones I choose. All right, that is all the Lulu stuff. I know that that was a lot. I will do the little bridal, the stuff that I got for bridal. I will try that on in this video probably like later on, but that's what I got from Lulu's. I'm fingers crossed that everything doesn't fit so that I can return. Now, there's some stuff that I got at Saks. I'm not gonna lie, I uh, I hit a goal of mine and 
I was like, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself a little bit. So, things that I had my eye on for a minute. I was like, add to cart, check out. Okay, see, these are the Ghani little flats and they're so similar to these Steve Madden ones, like literally almost identical. Let me see if I see any like, I think these might be too big too. These look huge. I'm literally a six and a half, seven. Why are all these sevens looking massive? Like, that's kind of big. I don't know, I think I kind of like the red ones better. The Ghani one, these Ghani ones just look a little bit big, but I'll try them on. I've never gotten a pair of Stodd boots, but Kelsey raves about them. And I felt like these would be really versatile. I don't have anything like it. I even checked before I placed the order because sometimes, you know, you just forget. So you have to just go through and look. And I love the elongated toe on this. And I love the suede. I like the stitching and the color is so good. It's like this beautiful caramel. Y'all are either gonna love me, y'all are gonna hate this or love this, but I've been seeing so many girlies style the horseshoe trend pant, and I just need to try it myself. I don't know if it's gonna look good on me. I have a feeling that it's not, but we're just gonna be positive and we're just gonna try. I just saw Mika wear them. I just see Ashley wear them all the time. I've seen Kelsey wear them and they all look so good. So I got myself a pair. These were citizens of humanity. So if they don't look good, like these were almost like $300 jeans. So if they do not look good, they're going back. But I also like that they have a raw edged hem. So if I do need to like cut off an inch or something, it's not really going to affect the look of it because it's already a raw edged hem. And I have an outfit in mind. I have an outfit of mine with the um, with the Stodd boots, and then I'll show you what I'm thinking about wearing with them. I'm thinking about wearing a little white tee. Guys, I love little white tees, so that's nothing new. But then pairing it with this Varley half zip in this oatmeal color, it's so soft, oh my gosh. And then the boots that I just showed you, and then this Stodd bag goes perfectly with the boots. And I feel like that would just be such a cute neutral outfit. I'm gonna try it on, hopefully, hopefully it looks good. I feel like I don't need two cardigans like this. Oh no, this is really nice. Oh my God. <sighs> I'm gonna try. Again, I wanted the cardigan that that buttoned all the way up. And you guys know how much I love green. And this is from Reformation. Gosh, the quality is really nice. But I think this was like upwards of like $200. So, but I know I'm gonna like have it forever, but is it, I do love this color, but is it not as wearable as some other colors? I don't know. So we're gonna try that on. And then this one was so cute. And I was like, you know what? I really love red. It could go with the Ghani shoes. It could go with the Steve Madden shoes. And then I saw an up close picture of the buttons and they're silver hearts, guys. I don't, this is from Cami NYC. And I thought that that looked so good. I'm trying it on right now. I'm trying it on right now. That's all I got guys. Well, I don't mean to say that that's all I got. I'm just saying that's the end of the haul. That's a lot of, that's a lot of stuff. He literally said, huh? So he hates it. It's just, it's fine. He doesn't get it. And then the shoes. Oh, let me try on the Ghani ones and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna sign off. The Ghani ones are a little bit too big. Yeah, no, the Ghani ones are a little bit uncomfy. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep them. Oops, my ring just fell off in my pants. Okay. 
we're gonna order some food and I will see you guys soon. Hopefully the next time I see you, I'll do the little try on. Guys, I wanted to do the little quick try on of some of the bridal stuff that I got from Lulu's. Just in case you guys are in your bridal era, some of these, actually all three of them are so freaking cute. So I just wanted to show you, this is a cute little vest and trouser pant set. But the cutest part about the top, which by the way, it definitely runs a little bit big, so I would size down, is look at the little bow in the back. I feel like this is like overexposed, I don't know why. And then I also like how it's satin and also, I, forget, I don't know what type of material this is, but there's two materials on here, which is really nice. Pants have pockets and they are pretty short girl friendly, I do have like, massive heels on, but I think that they are super cute. I love them. The only thing is these buttons are a little hard to get on and off if you have nails. So just note that. I am not exaggerating when I say this is probably one of the prettiest dresses that I have ever put on my body. And I love that it is this like off-white ivory color. Unfortunately, it does wrinkle a little bit. I did have it in a ball on the floor, so I wasn't giving it the best chance. But if you guys are in your bridal era, please, this dress is so stunning. It has a tiny bit of a tail or a, tra or a train, I mean. And it's kind of an off-white, which I think is really beautiful. There's a hem here and it's just so stunning. The neckline is beautiful. I am absolutely obsessed with it. And also it's affordable because it's Lulu. So I think this is probably, I wanna say that this was around a hundred, maybe $120. I feel like this would be really stunning if you had a welcome party or an engagement shoot. This would be really pretty on the beach, something like that. Oh my God. I literally wanna be like buried in this. It's so stunning. Okay, and then this one I felt was so cute for a bridal shower, really cute, or an engagement party. I know a lot of girls are not dress girly, so this is really cute because it's a romper. Very cute, I love the shoulder pads, and it's also has this embroidered detail, which I think is so stunning. And it's still very like sexy and feminine because of the low V. But if this is too low of a V, you can put like a lace bralette, which would be really pretty, or just put a little like safety pin or um, double-sided tape right here. And then modest, quote, air quotes on the modest, but really cute. And then I just paired all of these with these gold heels also from Lulu's. They're actually, I've been wearing them for probably like an hour, like trying on dresses and like filming and stuff. and. They're surprisingly very comfortable. And I say surprisingly because they got a huge heel, which I'm not a hero. I am not typically a heel girl. So walking and just having heels on typically hurts my feet, but yeah, so cute. Also, I got all of the stuff in an extra small. It's usually my size in Lulu's. So yeah, I will see you guys soon. I'm gonna go make a little like factor meal because I'm fucking hangry. I just got dressed because I am going to play tennis today. How exciting is that? This set is old, I'm sorry, but if you wanna know where it's from, I could tell you that. It's from Bandier. It is like two or three years old though, unfortunately. If it is still available, I will link it, but it was a collab with someone, so I don't think it is but it's like one of my favorite sets. They have really buttery stuff. And then I'm gonna just wear this Fabletics little jumper. This. So my friend Nicole and I are playing tennis. We grew up together. We went to the same middle school, high school, everything. We played tennis together in high school. Um, and so she moved out here. And then I moved out here like six months after her and we've been friends. She's my longest friend ever. She's amazing. And she lives in the Valley and she started taking tennis lessons because she just had a baby and she was like, I want like something, I want a hobby basically. And then she told me recently that like it is her 
it is like it is the thing that she looks forward to the most and it's so exciting for her and i and she and she told me she was like if you ever want to come just let me know and i'll put your name down so it started as like a tennis lesson i think and then maybe like the beginning is just a little bit of a tennis lesson and then it goes into actually playing games with the people and so it took me a few weeks to work up the courage to do it because I haven't played tennis in years and years and years other than that ask, that L Space event the other day. So I finally, and I've been wanting to play tennis. That's the thing I really wanted to play. After the L Space thing, I, I looked at places around where I live and I was like, I was just too nervous. So I texted Nicole and I said, hey, is that still available? And she said, yeah, definitely. Last week it was raining, so it got canceled. And then now we are in this week and I'm going, I'm heading there in like 20 minutes and I'm so excited. Also just like hanging out with a friend is good too. Also, since Ashley moved over by me, we, she also wants to start playing tennis and so does Michelle possibly. So we might all band together and you know, get a little, get a little group going. Whenever I have something scheduled in the morning, I get really nervous and then I kind of like can't sleep that well. So I woke up at seven and I've just been like hanging out. Hey, Dink. Dink has been like going through something. She has been coughing a lot or like not even coughing. She just eats her food too fast. Like it's, she's wild like that. And it's been getting caught or something and then also she's been shaking and so that's probably why i didn't sleep well either but what i was saying before is it's 8 45 right now but the class doesn't start until 10 and it goes until 11 30. so although i'm not really hungry at the moment i am gonna have a protein shake because not eating until like 11 30 or 12 o'clock is not for me i always like to have something in the morning so I just got this new blender. It is so cute. It came with two size blender cups. This is the large size. This is really big. It is absolutely deceiving because I used to make them in this and it only would fill up to here. And I kept being like, what is going on? And then I used the small one, which is dirty right now, but hold on. This is the small one. Also very deceiving. This is a full shake when I make it. So I thought maybe I'll just make my shake with you guys right now. This actually looks pretty full compared to what it normally does. I think I put a lot more ice in it. Also, I'll link the protein powder that I use down below. It's JS Health. It doesn't look like this because it just comes in bags and then I put it into this container. My code is Blake15 if you wanna use it, but it doesn't work on any subscriptions, but you can buy multiple things at once. I'll also link the blender too. I got it for Christmas and it's so aesthetic. The only thing is it doesn't come with a travel cup. So I have to put it in a travel thing right yeah, now. I think it does. Does it? Yeah, up there. What? Yeah. Wait, I can't reach it. <laughs> you just take this part out. This is for the juice. Oh my gosh. You just take this part out. Boom. Wait, but then where's the cup? I remember the... Wait, I'm shook. And you can put a straw in or you can just... <gasps> oh, there's... Wow, okay, I was I was just about to dog on them, saying that there wasn't a travel thing. 
<laughs> but there is. Should I use this? There's also a cap for that. And I believe a sippy hole for that. So you can turn that into a cup. Oh gosh. Well, I'm talking about like, cause I'm leaving. Don't Show the people. Wave, I'm well okay. I didn't really think you were that much taller than me, but dang. Yeah. Look at how short you are. I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. Perfect fit. So this is just banana protein powder. I add a little bit of cacao powder just because I am addicted to chocolate. A tiny bit. You just need like a teaspoon or a table or less than a tablespoon. Hey Google, play Beating Hearts Baby. This is my favorite song. Hey Google, volume up 30%. Okay, bye guys. You open for there, can I just get it? You open for there too. Uh, no! Uh, uh, gotta right, make look, sure right, it hurts, look. guys. Okay, got it. But look, that was the same thing that happened to me. So things are going well so far. I forgot my tennis racket, so I had to turn back around, but you know, we're fine, we're fine. And then I just called my mom for probably like 20 minutes while I was on the road and I just love catching up with my mom. I don't know if anyone else is like that where if they're in the car, I'm not like a radio person in the car really. Uh, when I'm with John, of course, and when I'm with other people, I am. But if I'm alone in the car, I am more of a podcast or call every single person in my Rolodex that will answer and chat with them because I'm a, yeah. It's still kind of cold, it's 55. And I know that's not cold in 90% of places, but 55, Ooh, it's cold here. It's crazy because I grew up in New York and obviously it's freezing in New York like five months out of the year. And I swear it's been, I've lived in LA for eight years now, which is crazy to even say. And you're, it is true what they say, your skin and your blood, it gets thinner. And I am not used to cold weather anymore. I was never a big cold weather girly, but now I could not live in the cold weather anymore. If you can hear that, like click, 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 click. Funny story, I have a rod in the back of my car. It's a hanging rod for clothes because I used to shoot a lot. <laughs> and I, I barely drive my car. John always drives because we're always together. And, and so I drove my car one day and, oh, that's so pretty. And I drive my car one day and I call John and I'm like, John, there's something wrong with my car. And he was like, I just drove your car like two days ago. There was nothing wrong with it. Like, what could be wrong? I'm like, I don't know, but I feel like there's a click, 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 click going on. I feel like my, it's always when I come to a stop and maybe it's my brakes. I don't know, my tires. I really don't know. Like, I'm like nervous. He's like, okay, well, you're like a mile from home. Like, I'll check it out when, wait, ready? I don't know if you could hear it, but. So I get home and he drives it around. He's like, nothing's wrong. I'm like, okay. So, he, cause he was used to that sound. And then the next day I drove my car again. I was like, John, something is wrong with my car. He drives it again. He was like, is it that? I was like, yes. It's that fucking bar. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, so I'm about to be here. I'll check in with you guys after I get out. Am I lost? Yeah, but am I also early? Yes, so do I care that much? Not really, but I just texted her and she was like, it's on the left, but then I went too far, so I had to turn around. So now I'm like, is it on the left or is it on the right? Were we coming from opposite ways? That I also don't know. So is it actually on the left? Now am I on the right side and going to turn left? 
that is a golf course it's a country club which i assume but in the ways picture it did say that it was on the right and there's no big old sign i'm on i'm on a one-way street here maybe i just went too far that has to be it right that has to be it, it you know i don't mind being lost if I'm early, but if there's a car behind me, oh, is this it? I'm turning in, I'm turning in, just in case it is. It's definitely fucking not though. This is not it. This is not it. I don't think this is it. I gotta get Nicole's location. I'm gonna send her my location. Oh, I actually have it. She's also not here yet. Oh, if I was late though, oh, I would be having a panic attack. I hate being late. No, this is Mont Verde. This is not it. This is not it. Okay, this is not it. We're gonna keep going. I feel like we're close. I feel like we are close. Is this it? Okay, wait. Oh, this could be it. Like you would think that fucking Waze would do its fucking job, right? Okay, the country club, like, hello? Are you going to the country club? This is cute up here though. Okay, Otis. Nicole just fucking texted me north. North? Do you think I know what the fuck north is? Do you think I know what the fuck north is? Wait, so was it actually? We're going north. All right, we're turning back around. This is the third time that I have turned around. So hopefully third time is a charm. It's an open house, should we pop in? Where am I? It literally doesn't fucking say. Oh my God, this guy's dogs are literally in the street. North, okay. And then where? And then where? Like, this is what it says. There's, n this is what it says. It says I'm literally about to be there, but there's nowhere for me to turn it. Like I'm all, it says arriving. It lit, it popped up. If you can see that, it says arriving. This is where I turned around the last time. Or well, I turned around right after this. Is that it? It's someone's fucking house. It literally, what the fuck? <laughs> guys, guys, I'm not okay. Literally not okay. I'm literally screaming right now. I'm not kidding. I literally turned around like five times. I'm gonna just call her. I'm at fucking Silver Hawk again. I'm at Silver Hawk again. Not me having to turn around again, bro. Oh my gosh. Is that it? Is that fucking it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going so slow. I'm sorry. Let me pull over. No, I, now, now I'm actually getting nervous because. Now I'm like, am I late? I'm really, I'm not late. It's 9.43. But now I'm getting nervous that I'm never going to find it. Tarzana Street. <sighs> am I on the wrong fucking road? <laughs> she said, I think you made it. And then she said, I can't even text right now. Tarzana Street. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Are you? No, literally, I'm using ways. I've, I'm not kidding. I've turned around four times. There is a golf course on my right hand side, right there. It literally says I'm like there, and then there's like no entrance. We do Google Maps instead. Okay. Okay. Do Google Maps instead of ways. Okay. Okay. Wait. So there. I don't fuck with ways. Yeah. Okay. Like, what fucking yeah. road am I on? Okay, I'm pulling over. I am on a large road. No, I'm on like a. I'm on a fat ass road. No, literally no service, so it's not letting me do it. Okay, I'm, it says I'm fucking walking there. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I'm turning around, I'm, I'm, I'm literally just hooking a U in the middle. I'm hooking a U in the middle of the road. Okay, I did it. I did it, now I'm back on track. I'm fucking sweating now. Okay, okay, I've, okay, Sir Tar Tarzana. Okay, I've been on this road before. I am going slow, but also swiftly. Okay, okay. I'm confident. Okay. I'm confident. I'll be there in a second. Did that just fucking happen? I literally just got lost for 20 minutes because fucking Waze decided to fuck me over. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. I don't want to end the route. Hi, my name's Blake Healy. I'm a, I'm here for tennis. I heard you had trouble finding me. It just took me 20 minutes to get here. I was on the opposite side of the entrance okay. and Waze just completely. Yeah, Waze always brings people to the houses there. No, it did. Yeah, it's it did. Awesome. Multiple times. I, I turned around about six times. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hey, thank you. Have a great time. Bye. Thank you. What? Why is everything so hard? <sighs> I made it. Where do I park? Okay, because then he told me to go a different way. No, he was like, you told me to like, 
that you were gonna meet me and then he was like oh the fastest way is that way and i was like i'm not straying it's in here it's okay park anywhere in here. okay good morning guys so yesterday after the tennis lesson i tried to do a little update you know tell you guys how it went but again my memory card was fucked up so that's annoying but basically i did better than i thought i was gonna do everyone was on kind of the same playing field which was nice Usually there's only four or five people, my friend Nicole said, but yesterday there was eight and there was two boys and they were a little bit better than everyone else, but it was still so much fun. I'm not gonna lie, my shins, <laughs> they're hurting. And it was a lot more playing than I actually thought it was gonna be. We were playing kind of like round robin or kings of the court type games, if you're familiar with that. Um, but yeah, it was super fun and she was like, you should come back next week. So only like 25 minutes to get there, but then coming back, it took me like, well, well, it took me 25 minutes to get there and then to actually find it, it took me another 25 minutes. And then to get back, it took me like 50 minutes. And then the lesson was an hour and a half. So it's a big chunk of time out of my day, the day before a trip. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, but if not, regardless, I'm definitely going back and I, I'm so excited. Anyway, that's a little update that I would have given in the car, but um, my memory card wasn't working. But now it is about 10, 10.05 in the morning on Sunday. I'm getting ready to go to Delaney's because she invited me over for a little uh, girl's brunch. I have an inkling that she's going to ask um, the people that she invited to be her bridesmaids. If you guys don't know, I didn't have bridesmaids at my wedding, but anyway, so I think it is. And if not, that's totally fine too. Like I no, like literally no hard feelings, no nothing, obviously. Um, I just have a feeling that that's what's gonna happen. Um, but maybe it is just a Valentine's Day brunch. I don't know. She said to dress girly. My hair is so dirty and guys, it might not look that bad. I did just put about a pound of dry shampoo in it. Um, but the way that it feels, it feels dirty. So it doesn't smell bad or anything. Hmm. I always ask John because John has like a supersonic nose and I never want to be like smelly to anyone. Um, so I always ask him like, hey, does my hair smell? And he's always like, no, it literally doesn't smell like anything. So I'm good on that. But I think I'm gonna do a messy little bun because at least my front pieces aren't bad. It's more so where I put the oil usually because I oil my hair every night. So we're gonna do a little updo while I finish what I was gonna say because I can't really remember what I was gonna say. Um, oh, so she said to dress girly and while that's great and that's fine. She also <laughs> yesterday was like, by the way, um, so I was like, hey, is there like any color to the dress code yesterday? And she was like, no, but you're gonna definitely have to wear a snowsuit because it's in my house and right now we don't have heat. So um, you're gonna be so fucking cold. And I was like, oh, because it's like very, very cold in LA right now. It's like a high of 50 today. Um, and it's really cold and windy and raining. And she was like, you need to literally wear a snowsuit. I run so cold, like it's probably 69, 70 in my house right now. And I'm in a sweatshirt and sweatpants. And I could, I could put socks on and be, and be comfy. So I was gonna wear this little cute skirt top combo, but it's looking like I'm gonna wear a pants, like suit set um, and a jacket which was not my first choice, I'm not gonna lie. The outfit that I have picked out in my head, it was not, oh, here they are. It was not my first choice. It's still really cute. It's just not what I was going to wear. All right, so here's the messy bun right now. And I mean, it doesn't look that bad. We're gonna pull some pieces out the bottom so it could be a little bit more messy, but we have to secure it because this is only like one and a half ways around. So I just like to like pin some pieces from the top and I like bring it in the front. And so John's on his way to get me a coffee, which I'm very excited about. I 
looks like a little jellyfish right now. And I like to just like hold the bun and pull the little tentacles out and then they don't look very good right now, but I'm gonna curl them. You just have to like play around with it. Like I don't really like how this looks and so I'm gonna try to get a bobby pin. And then I'll curl these front pieces as well. Huh. It's not like as messy as I want it to be. choosers. I'm gonna go grab my curling iron. It's supposed to torrential downpour apparently. Like people, aka my friends, were getting texts yesterday, you know, the emergency like alerts that you get. And they were like, leave now, like grab your belongings, grab your, grab your pets, grab your children, grab, grab important belongings, uh, belongings, leave now. And Actually, I have the text message, I can read it, but, um, and it like wasn't even raining yet. So I don't know what the heck's going on. All right, that is more how I wanted even go this one that's definitely how I wanted this one to turn out so we're gonna try to figure out why the other one didn't do that I do also like doing my front pieces with my Dyson but since it is going to be raining I'm probably gonna be hugging a lot of people all the stuff my Dyson doesn't really hold that well and then what I like to do is I don't just like to like let my fingers go. I like to kind of pull the barrel through the curl, which I'll show you while I'm still holding it like this. It's similar, it's not, it's not the same, but oh well. Guys, I was fucking dying laughing on the way home from tennis yesterday because of how I could not find the tennis court. I was freaking, I can't wait to watch that back. I told John, I was like, you're gonna have a uh, fun time editing this vlog because he was like, why? I was like, I'm not even gonna tell you anything. I'm just gonna let you experience it on your own. He was like, why, like what happened? And I was like, I'm not saying anything. Oh my gosh, also guys, um, John and I watched our wedding video yesterday, bawling, crying. It was so cute and we had never seen the full version before and we were just, oh my gosh, it was, I believe it was 16 minutes and we're gonna upload it to YouTube. If it's not already up right now, it will be up like, it's definitely already up, so go watch it. Sometimes I like being a girl. Sometimes I'm like, it would be so much easier to be a boy. But I would never trade being a girl for being a boy, ever. Okay, I think that that does look better. Here it is. I will be back when I put my outfit on. 
if it wasn't gonna be 50 degrees in Delaney's house, but um, it's because it is, I'm gonna put on this coat. And then I also have these cute little shoes that I got from Lulu's. They're like velvet and have a, chunk, have a chunky heel. So this is the fit, this is the girly fit. She might be asking me to be her bridesmaid. She might be asking me to be her Galentine. Who knows? But yeah, this is the fit. Child, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, today. So they have sparkles, edible sparkles. Cute. So cute. Oh. oh my god, adorable. Wait, can I have a sip of it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> made with love? We you know, made with love. Stop it. Wait, these are so cute. Oh, oh, I'm like, I feel like I'm oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, the bows on everything. Oh, right? These are really cute. Stop. This is so. so I know. I'm confused. I don't want to. Oh, so the bows I can with the little bows. <laughs> Your handwriting is stunning. Yeah. <laughs> Professional clear. <player. Yeah. laughs> Stop. <laughs> This is really cute. Thank you. I can't wait. I'm sweating because it's hot in here. It's really hot in here, actually. It is really cute. Do I need to be the little together? together? So there, there's just a bunch of like oh. my favorite little things in there, like my favorite blush and the lipsticks. I don't know if you guys saw, they have your name on oh. oh. And this is the best thing like, ever. Yeah, I'm sorry the best today. Um, those eye patches are my favorite. I thought you could use them like for the wedding or whatever. Oh and gosh. that setting spray, we need that mm -hmm. for the wedding. Yes, oh, we're going to be crying. Crying. Yes. Literally These crying. little heart gummies, because I love you. And then you each have like a little fragrance and I tried to pick out, I didn't know how they all smelled, but I tried to pick out ones that like the name yeah. reminded me of you guys and like Ooh. the vibe. So, Ooh. so Ooh. I think I love that one. It smells so good. Um, and then the little bracelets. Okay, so they're a little personalized, like your letter. JC, yours is a whatever that is because they were out of the J. But the J is coming. So you get two. <laughs> Because they were out of the J, but the J is coming. So really, you get two. So Amazing. sorry you don't have the J today. <laughs> That's okay. That's so sweet. But they're so cute, and I thought you guys could wear them like on the wedding day, and they're kind of like a little friendship bracelet for all of us. Oh, now. Oh, it's yeah. 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 I love how like dainty it is. So cute. It's perfect. Yeah. I love James. 